and the Anzob Tunnel. And um, we'd heard reports uh, of this tunnel, which um, links really northern Tajikistan with the capital Dushanbe. And sure enough, it was um, when we arrived at it. It had two 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 routes, two tunnels that made, it, it comprises of. One of which, the right hand one, just had water flowing out of it like a river. The left hand tunnel um, was pitch dark. Um, it had water and potholes in the entrance and there was obviously no lighting, um, a fair amount of traffic, mostly cars and mostly going in the same direction as us, and that's about six kilometres long. Um, so with my headlight, which hardly works, Dan went first with uh, his headlights a lot brighter as I followed him, uh, but eventually he managed to get ahead of some of the traffic into sort of clear air. Uh, and I had to catch him up, but the water was um, in places was was deep, you know, at least up to your knees if you were to put your feet down. Um, and there were some sides of the tunnel that people, the other cars weren't using, so I suspect which were flooded. Uh, so I suspect it could have been even deeper then. But uh, you know, generally it was, um, you know, it was it was quite very cold in there, dark, um, and between the traffic, it, you could hardly see. I could I could hardly make out anything. So I was just picking the you know parts of the route in front that looked like they weren't completely submerged and trying to avoid where I could what looked like a deep pothole although we went into some big big potholes going through there um, but eventually we emerged the other side back to glorious roads and um, you know whilst uh, we were on very lightweight bikes so it really wasn't a big problem we weren't heavily loaded or anything uh, we've heard that some people have been on the forums have been talking about um, you know how spectacular and full on that it is, um, and I'd say it's it's probably the worst tunnel I've ever been in, but uh, it wasn't too bad, and uh, we emerged a little bit damp but unscathed the other side. So hopefully, uh, hopefully they won't fix that, and travellers will be able to enjoy, especially motorcycle travellers, will be able to enjoy and talk about the tunnel for many years to come.